Okay guys, this is going to be a quick instructional video on how to install the SAM 7 SF wrap. Um, this is my second take, so I've already installed the wrap I'm going to be installing uh, right now and uh, and removed it. I would actually messed up the uh, first couple stitches, so I wanted to get this right. And uh, so I've removed it. It's actually stretched out. It's going to look a little bit different than than the wrap you'll receive just because of that uh, and then it'll go on a little bit easier but I'll explain um, uh, how you, you need to stretch it as you stitch so that the ends will uh, meet together so um, first thing I want to do is uh, thread each needle let's see so I'm going to go through the eye of the needle here Pull the thread out, leave about half an inch of thread, and I'm going to actually pierce the thread with the needle right in the middle. Like this right here. And then I'm going to pull that piece, that extra piece that I have sticking out, and then pull it tight. We'll do the same on the other side. And I'm actually using the uh, the thread that's on the top piece of this um, sleeve that I include. Uh, this will be the shortest piece, so we'll be actually installing uh, the shorter piece of this wrap right here first. Okay, so I have uh, the uh, needles at both ends of the thread. Move this stuff out of the way. You'll be receiving uh, this uh, wooden card here. This will have your QR code. Um, this one's for the wire wrap, but uh, uh, I'll make them for this, the sm 7 sf wrap. Um, you can scan this code, or you'll, I guess you've already scanned the code, or you'll have the uh, link here that you can I type into your browser okay so um, I actually have this stock uh, I borrowed this stock here so I don't have a rifle to hold the stock in place so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult um, but I uh, just bear with me as I try to get this installed here so um, back to stretch in the wrap uh, when you receive it uh, it'll Again, it'll be a little stiffer. Um, you'll just want to lay your wrap on the side of the stock, like this right here, and then you just work it like this. Just kind of doesn't have to be perfect right now. You're just kind of getting it to uh, stretch initially. So I am going to actually start. Um, in this first hole here and what that's going to allow me to do is just uh, it gives me more control of this wrap uh, I don't have the wrap trying to fold down here um, this kind of just locks it all in place for me so we'll take the needle and we'll go through this first hole all the way through and then I'm going to take it and go from the inside out in this hole here. And then you want to pull these uh, two sides of the thread to make sure they're even. Okay. And then I'm going to I'm going to take this piece of thread here, I'm going to go through the stock to the other side, and then I'm going to go from this side of the wrap inwards. Make sure you're not piercing the 
uh, thread as you do this. So you may have to move, uh, again, these, these holes are stretched out from installing it before, um, but you may actually have to kind of tug on this other piece of thread that's in this hole, tug on it to the side, uh, just to give yourself room to get that needle through without piercing the thread. It's really important that you don't do that because it will um, uh, interfere with the, the way the thread tightens. So I went through that hole. I just pulled it tight a little bit. I'm going to go back through from the inside out this hole th here. So I'm um, going through the stock here. And then I need to someone pull that thread to the side here. Go through that hole. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that both pieces of my thread are the same length. And then I can pull this top really good. Okay. That should hold a little. Uh, yours will be a little stiffer, so it may uh, try to come loose on you. And that's okay. Just wait until you get down uh, to the second hole until you thread that. Uh, you'll be able to tighten it. And just as you go uh, down the wrap, you'll tighten it. So. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to take, I'm going to start with this left side here and I am going to go through the stalk and then I'm going to go from the inside out through the second hole. Make sure I've got my threads of the same length. Okay. Now I usually, um, and I'll, I'll show you more of what I'm talking about in a second, but when, so this, this side, as the thread goes over, I always lay that thread on top of the piece of thread that's going from this side over to this side. So because I started from the left side, I actually need to go under this thread just this once, um, so that I can keep that thread oriented like that. So um, I'm just going to go through that or under that thread real quick and then from the inside out I'll give you a close up in just a second so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so get the camera to focus here. Alright, so, um, so this thread that's coming over to the right side, you can see it's laying on top see here it's laying on top of the thread that's going from this side to the left side that thread's going under it and I had to uh, had to actually put that thread under it just now but I'll show you in just a second it'll um, I wanted to do that each time I just I should have went from the left side to the right side okay so I'm going to take uh, this thread, so I am going to start going from the right side to the left side, and I am going to go through the stock here, from the uh, inside to the outside. I'm going to take this thread, go through the stock. We'll go from the inside to the outside of that hole. Okay, I'll give you a closer look here. So you can see um, <clears throat> how that's starting to line up there. So, uh, it's really important just to, again, to um, make sure however you decide you want your thread to lay that you keep it consistent uh, throughout the whole stitch so um, you know again I'm, I'm having the piece that comes over from left side to the right side lay over uh, the piece that's coming from the right side to the left side 
So I just want to make sure I'm doing that every time. That's really important or um, you know, it just, uh, just doesn't look right if it's, if it's mixed up. Doesn't hurt function or durability. It just, uh, just more my OCD. So go from the right side to the stock from the make sure I'm not blurry here so uh, from the inside to the outside here <coughs> and then so this thread is going to lay over the top of this thread go through the stock from the inside if I can get that hole to the outside <coughs> tight as you go okay so I'm gonna finish this up I'll I'll get to this last uh, hole here and then I'll show you how I uh, end uh, this stitch and then we'll work on this other piece okay so I've gotten to this uh, these last two holes here um, and you can see here how I've got it stitched now once more Yours is going to be a lot tighter. It's going to be harder to get uh, these ends to um, come together. So just work with it. Um, I provide plenty of extra thread so you can really wrap this around your fingers or your hand and stretch it tight. You're not going to rip the leather or the thread. If you do, I'll replace it. But it's just, it's not going to happen. Um, so yeah, just... Pull it tight until you get those ends of those, uh, or the ends of the leather uh, to come together there. So, right, for this last stitch, I'm going to continue to do what I was doing here. I'm going from this right side. So I can get this on camera here. So from this right side over to the left side. From the inside there to the outside. And I just want to make sure that thread's laying on top there. And then I'm going to go from the left side over to the right side. You can see how that thread's come down. Just lift that up. There. Okay, pull that tight. Alright, right here I'm going to make sure that... Uh, so I've got my wraps come up just a little bit. I want to pull it down slightly. So I have to really yank on it. Okay. So. Alright. So I've got the thread through those last two holes. Um, what I'm going to do here. Is. Actually just. Go take this side. You can do either side. I'm going to take it through the stock. Right here. I'm going to go through this hole on the outside and then I'm taking the needle I may have to pull it through first so all right so went through that on that side okay so here's this string this needle I'm going to take that needle and go back over here on the inside out that left side so I'm just going to drop the needle through this stock here for a second uh, same needle, same thread, <clears throat> and just the uh, the metal portion of the stock there kind of gets in the way of me just going straight through. So it's easier to go through the first hole, come out, and then go through the second hole here. So we'll go from the inside, the outside there. Okay, I'm gonna pull that tight. Make sure your your uh, stitch line here is straight. It, this is the perfect time to kind of twist on it um, to get it adjusted if it's not. So I'm happy with mine here. Pull it tight. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to do two overhand knots to uh, tie it into place here. really tight <clears throat> and just a 
a standard knot here. Kind of looks sloppy, but. Okay, and then um, find my scissors. You just want to cut this, and you want to leave about an eighth of an inch of thread left that you're going to uh, melt with a lighter. Look at that. Okay, then you can just hit that with the lighter. Um, <coughs> I've got this uh, thread melter or whatever you'd call it. Okay, well, it's not working. So, um, all right, so I'm going to uh, check out of this piece next, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, I'm just going to finish up this uh, last stitch. I'm pulling these tight here. Uh, continue like I was uh, throughout the whole stitch. I'm going to go from the right side to the left first, and then the left to the right. Top. Okay, and then I'm going to take this thread here. I'm going to go in through here. I'm going to take the one on the left side and go through here and pull those taut. And then this one you can you kind of straighten that uh, stitch line up. If you'd like. Once I finish it, I, <clears throat> I can adjust it a little bit more as I as I go. It's canted a little bit to the left here, but that's fine. I can move it once it's uh, tied on. All right, and I'm just doing an overhand knot now. two of them that's it just like with that uh, first stitch trim it at about an eighth of an inch and a little bit less and trim there and then I'm going to take my ladder and melt that thread there. That's it.